Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. Wait right there, Edward. Press conference done. Talking's nearly done. Is it going to be knockout chaos on Friday, Edward? It is going to be knockout chaos on Friday, Coogan. Summary of the press conference. Got a little bit lively at times from Ngannou also. Yeah, listen, he's confident. He's huge. You know, and he's for real. So, as I said, I don't believe there's any aspect that he is better than Anthony Joshua in. But he's dangerous, he's heavy-handed, and we've got to do a job on him. And you can't just, you know, you're not just going to, like, get this guy to quit on his stool. You're not going to get him to wilt in the corner. You've got to put him to sleep. And you've got to do that with speed and ferocity. And you've got to chip away at this big oak tree. And you've got to watch him fall. And that's what I believe will happen on Friday night in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Um. That is your friend there, Frank. Can we get Frank in for a second? Frank, come in. How you doing, Frank? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm all right. Could you come in a little bit? Come in where? I can't. All right, come on in. What are you going to say? What are you going to stir up now? I ain't got time. Well, listen. No, hold on a minute. Thanks, sir. Listen, Frank, this is the first time you two guys have been on IFL TV, so we caused a little bit of the egg for years, but now... Look at where we are. You know, I'm glad you've admitted it. We've only been on the uh, major platforms together lately. So we've only been on the major platforms together. Yeah. So, so anyway, we, we, made our way, you after, we made yeah. our way down the alphabet. Exactly. It's, it's been two months now, this relationship. And now, obviously, we've... Well, we're late to the party, but better late than never. Yeah. No, that's, that's true. That's but true. as Frank said, it's, it's basically this rift has only been your fault anyway. We blame you. We yeah. now know. We now know. But You're to where we are now. I mean, Frank, well, Frank used to praise me so much, and then one sentence where he's a little bit negative, that's the only one you put up there on the clickbait. You know? Frank, you always said about the clickbait, didn't you? I did, I knew you were, well, that's what it was, mate. But no, it's all good, everything's fine, and we're having a, we're having a good time, aren't yeah. we? Good show, great show, a lot of, lot of, lot of stake tomorrow, for, especially in that main event. It's a real, real, as we said, a fight with a lot of jeopardy involved. Let me ask you about this 5v5. How competitive is this going to get between you two? Well, it's going to be as competitive as you get, obviously, isn't it? I mean, that's what we're here we're in for. I mean, it's good. Look, we're competitive people, and our fighters, we believe in them, and I'm sure once all the weights are sorted out, which we'll do fairly soon, and then we get to work on who's fighting who, and we're all looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I know Eddie is, and we've had a big bet who's going to take who for lunch, the winner, so that's it. And I told him I'm not going to have a pie mash. The wine's expensive. The wine's going to be expensive. In your words, you said that Matchroom are going to destroy Queensbury in this 5 to Listen, I'm not saying winning's important. I'm just saying it's absolutely everything. You know, and it, it, listen, we're, that's one of the reasons that we're, we've both taken British boxing to where it is, because we're so competitive. And that's no different for our fighters. It's going to be massive opportunities for our fighters. But we want 50-50 fights. You know, we want to sit there with excitement. And, you know, we've seen the lineup, We've seen what we're working on. And it's going to be unbelievable, not just the fights, but the build-up, the press conferences the promos, you know, they're going to have me and Frank probably dressed up again in something silly. And uh, it's, going to, it's going to be really big for the sport. And I just think the start, you know, I was just saying to, to Frank earlier, we had a conversation with some of our members of the team where we were just talking about an opportunity for one of their young fighters to fight in, on the Katie Taylor card in Dublin, who's Irish. And they'd put one of our London fighters on one of their big shows in London. It's just common sense. Like, and it has eluded us for many years. But hopefully, this just doesn't just stem from the 5v5. We can just both keep working together to improve our businesses and also to give more opportunities to our fighters. And, and, every, and, and there, everybody will benefit, especially people buying tickets or watching it on TV. There's some great fights in it. Looking forward to it. Just long term for this year, as fans, we want to see obviously AJ do the business on Friday night, that's first. We want to see Tyson Fury do the business on May the 18th. If those two situations happen, does Fury and AJ happen this year? This year? Look, contractually you know there's two fights. The one thing I'll say about his excellency, all he wants to do is give the world the biggest fights that are available. And that fight is the biggest fight in the sport. So let AJ beat Nganu. Let Fury beat Usyk, and then, and then we, we have, shall see. And then we will have a great conversation. But either way, exciting times. Yeah, not much. I mean, look at, I mean, all these fights. I mean, the cards are getting better and better. This is the first one this year 
and we've got another two coming up. I mean, and they are just brilliant shows. And you know, and it, and you know what it's all about. All of this is all about competition because the fights are competitive. You know, we've been we've been very blessed us to be involved in this situation with with what, which has been actually driven by His Excellency. We're all we are really going to make the me best of it. We're going to take a, the advantage of doing all the things we've been trying to do for many many years. Look, we've both been very successful and we've done over the years. We we spearheaded and made British boxing a real force to be reckoning with in the world and now it's going to get even better even better Could you guys shed any light on what happened yesterday with uh, Tyson and Ngannou had a few words today yeah, I saw Andy Lee's interview. I thought it was going to stay in the room, but you know, Andy uh, gave a brief uh, explanation. Tyson was being Tyson. Fair play. He he heard something he didn't like, and he stuck it on and gone him. And there's a time and place for it. I'm lucky it wasn't last night, but you know, two big boys. It was all fun and games, and we left there about four o'clock in the morning, and um, you know, we had a great night. Another amazing night of brainstorming. It really was. Just fun and games last night. It's always fun and games. If, listen, if, you, if, it, if it weren't no fun, it wouldn't be worth doing it, would it? You got to have, you know, this at the end of the day, we're blessed. Look at the business we're in. I mean, this is, if you're, I'm a boxing nut and I'm blessed. I'm like 72 years young now and it gets better and better every day. So I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon with it. Will he still be doing it at your age? He might still be promoting. I don't know about the other. I said to him last will night. Will you still be doing it or will you be no, promoting? I'll be, done. I'll be on a beach. I said to Frank last night, how much longer are you going to keep doing this? He went, what do you mean? He went, I ain't stopping. I love it. So, you know, it's, and that's that's something you've got to admire, the staying power in the business. Look, Frank, I mean, Bob Aram, he's much older than Frank, with all due respect. And look at him. He was at Turning Stone on Saturday, sitting there from five o'clock till midnight watching every fight. You know why? Because they love the sport. And it's the same for me. So while it's in the heart, we'll always be here. The fourth and fifth most influential people in boxing. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Uh, best of luck on Friday night. We look forward to a great show. Yeah, man. Let's go. Yeah, man. Sorry. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.